Good morning, people. It's that time of the week again. Today's uh, August 29th. Just a couple of days from September. Gonna take a look at our garden this morning. We've got a bunch of new plants we picked up. Now this, this is our basil again. So we did this from seeds a long time ago. It's finally just coming up. Here's our jalapeno plant, which is doing really good. I think I counted 16. We got 16 peppers on it so far. Uh, and you can see there's a ton of blossoms on there. So it looks like we're going to have a bunch more, a bunch more of those. This lettuce we bought yesterday. So we just put that in, see, and again with the uh, square foot garden, you can put, you know, like in this, we've got four lettuce. You're allowed to do four lettuce at a time in one square. So if that was a regular garden, you know, you'd have to use up probably four squares worth if you were doing a row garden to put that lettuce in. But in this garden, this type of garden, you can do a whole bunch of them. We got one little lettuce over there. We had a, uh, we had one plant left over, so we just stuck it in with the basil. We bought some more jalapeno plants. We're looking forward to those. We started a bunch of broccoli from seeds. And broccoli, you're only supposed to do one a square. So we started those from seeds inside, and we got a bunch of them. There's three here. There's another one. And we got a bunch on the other side. <clears throat> we don't know if it'll all take or not. But uh, even if it doesn't, you know, if it does, we'll freeze it. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. We'll just plant some more. But there's more broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. Those all started from seeds. Here's our okra. And our okra. It's got a plan on it, finally. So, our peas, we got sugar snap and dwarf, and they're sad. They're not doing real good. Well, that sugar snap, he's, he's starting to take, he, he grew a little bit in the last couple days. Okay, now what I did the other day Friday, a couple days ago, I put this uh, little fence row up so the plants, so the tomatoes would have something to uh, grow on. And it's a little hard to see. Well, I mean, it's probably not that hard to see. But all I did was just screwed it into the side of my box. And then you can see we got. Uh, one of our tomato plants that we got for for all those plants for five dollars it really started coming in good it's got a bunch of blossoms on it so that'll start producing tomatoes here but what I did was just tied the plant loosely against the row and then our grape tomato plant I did the same thing and you can see our grape one is fixing to produce a whole bunch of grape tomatoes. So hopefully by next week we'll see little tomatoes on there. Here's another tomato plant and it's starting to flower. So we're finally after almost two months starting to get some flowers on these. We'll take a look at that from the other side. Now here's Here's some more broccoli, more lettuce. The lettuce we bought, but the broccoli we planted from seeds. And that one is unmarked, but it looks like a jalapeno. And then we got our beans. And these are like string beans or green beans, some kind of bean. But you can see there's a ton of flowers finally showing up on these. So these will start producing. So 
the next few weeks here, more jalapeno. We should start having some pretty good production, hopefully. Let's go around to the other side here so we can get a better look at these tomatoes. Here's our grape tomato plant. And uh, I'm not sure what this one is, but it's a it's a pretty hardy uh, tomato. It's it's pretty it grows big tomatoes, so We'll see. Hopefully we'll get a few off from there. Oh, look at that. That one's flowering too. So, wow, tomatoes are... Oh, those are better boys. So, uh... It looks like we might be in the tomato business. We got... We started some more tomatoes from seeds. And that's what these are. Planted those, another jalapeno. We we was thinking we got that jalapeno plant and we never see any bugs on it. I mean nothing ever goes near that plant. So what we we're hoping is if we planted that spotted here and there throughout these other plants, it might help keep the bugs off it. So we're gonna try and see if it'll spread. Because like marigolds, we planted a marigold here and there, one of them came up. But the marigolds are, that's what they're for, is to help keep the bugs off. So we'll see. Hopefully uh, something will come out of it. And then we had another little tomato plant. And we put that back in our Australian planter. And that's another one we grew from seeds. We want, we, the other plant we bought died, but those plants are horrible. So we pop, popped in a new one and we'll see if that one grows. We'll keep an eye on that. There's our little water bucket. Uh, especially in the springtime or in, in the fall, what they recommend is you fill your bucket full of water and uh, let the sun warm it up. And then when you water your plants, the warm water helps warm up the plants more and they grow better. It's really weird. Sometimes you can see how much the plants grow. Like yesterday, we was out here fiddling around, and these beans hadn't, they weren't taller than the, the plastic. We came out this morning, and they're six inches tall. You know, so they shot up six inches above the plastic overnight, which is pretty cool. It's, it's weird to think that plants can grow that fast. We had some mushrooms pop in here beside one of our planters. I don't, we don't know if the uh, if it came because it came if it came in that pepper plant or if it was in the compost, but just overnight, boom! There was three mushrooms, probably six inches tall. We picked those out already. You know, with this this uh, gardening, there's an occasional weed that pops up here and there. A little piece of grass or something will pop up, and then you'll have like this leaves off the trees and that's it is maintenance wise aside from the watering we had to do because we haven't had rain we still haven't had but maybe one or two waterings worth of rain since July uh, 15th when we put this in so aside from one or two days in 45 or so we really the upkeep is minimal You don't have to weed it. You don't have to mess with it. It's a pretty cool deal. If you compare this video with the first week's video, you can really see the differences. It's fun to watch. It's real surprising. 
I thought this would be uh, kind of a pain when we first started it, but it's been fun. We've enjoyed it. Well, that'll do it for this week. We'll see y'all next weekend. We'll take another look at our garden. Oh, this is something else. We found these little fence. The dogs keep running through still. So we got these little fence things to see if that works any better so we can get rid of some of this other stuff that we're using for fencing. But they look like they're going to work. I don't think the... I think they're just tall enough so the dogs can't get over top of them, so maybe that'll keep them out. So we'll see y'all next week.